Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shosley Mimi where you get the gist, as it do it in, as it hurt. Of course you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel, if it snows you do well, you lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a fat long thing? Kindly pause right there, subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist as it is hot? So, guys, oh, I don't carry myself calm oh, with gist. Oh. Hmm. First off, as you can see, obviously, this is white money. Yes, the money is white. This is white money showing you guys that, hello, he truly did have uh, had a, this thing, a Lamborghini packed in his garage. If una they talk talk, you know. After that time, that that thing happened, that they asked him about Lamborghini, and he said he used the middle, middle finger and said packed in my ga garage. Yeah, you know, people were like coming for him. That why did white money this mercy? Why did white money was unnecessary? You know, all of that. You know thingy now white money a video so first where white money was in his lamborghini hello Ota mie mie won. <laughs> meanwhile this is coming from viada the interviewer asked Pere about that that's white money lambo in the garage tweet and he said maybe white money has a lambo in his garage because it is not the lambo he knows law and then this person said energy now the funny thing is okay Pere said maybe white money has a lambo in his garage and truly the video just surfaced right now and we have seen that what Perez said is right. White Money did have a Lambo in his garage. But meanwhile, no matter how we try to cover all of this right now, it does not change the fact that that Lamborghini tweet and all of that, White Money was actually indirectly referring to Mercy. Whether Lamborghini packed in his garage or whether it is packed on air. Guys, let's they talk to you. They say, and that thing is kind of a diss. You know, you're trying to rub it all over his face that there is a Percy sheep and you're coming to ask about Lamborghini. And he replied, packed in my garage. In as much as whether he has a car or not, you know, whether it's packed there or not. That's reply. Now, this, take it or you leave it. All right, so I'm coming from Big Sophie. All star people, your post show drive past Chichi's Nyash. Hi, Jesus. <laughs> Guys, uh, oh my god, <laughs> please don't mind me. Oh. What kind of thing is this thing? Sincerely, I think the All Stars post show too is, is <clears throat> anyways, let me not talk. But which one is dry pass? Ha, okay, oh. <laughs> guys, don't mind me. This laugh, eh? this thing is funny. How does this one just come up on their head and they'll just say that? Coming from my head, Adekunle Venita, Soma, Alex, Ile by a cross doing the app. Post show, their post show is post showing like the way they are moving, not doing too much. Guys, do you think so? Adekunle, Venita, Soma, Alex, and the Lebay Cross doing. Do you think their post show is post showing? Anyways, talking about um Cross, let's talk about a bit, a little bit about Perez interview with um with some um, Miss Vic and Token Monkey. Were just the parts where viewers actually had interest in where um Token Monkey were asked Perez about. How Ilebaye, you know, always coming for Ilebaye being disrespectful and all of that. And Pere was like, yes, because it is quite it's somehow that Ilebaye is just so disrespectful and especially coming from somebody who is that young. And then Token Makiwana laughed at Pere and I said, if you know it's all about age for you, why did you not come to the show? If it's about age for you, why did you come to the show? And Pere was like, no, not like it's all about age, but it's actually the angle where the disrespect is coming from. You understand? That's something that does not even warrant being disrespectful on, that Ile Baye would do that. You know, so people have been carrying the gist and like, oh, Toke Mankiwa actually did laugh Pere because it wasn't really making sense at all of that. But at the same time, we are not going to change the fact that Ile Baye was quite disrespectful in that house. We are not going to lie. But... But we're going to talk about the bling part because something about that CC said will get there anyway. Just watch this video to the very end. Um, Coming from Pere, he said, media rounds done and dusted. Now let me get back to business. Chief Daddy said, please take good take good care of Mercio. And then Flawless said, Alex is your business. Don't stop. Ewo. You know, people have come for Pere. They are like, ah, ah you just carry Alex for head. Eh? Like Sena Gala. Everything. And funny enough, all Perez interview Alex this, Alex that. I know he was asked the question, but he was actually giving room for all those questions. He could as well said, let's fancy that or something like that. Because he has said enough 
he has let the world know how he feels about Alex. But continuously, he keeps saying it on their interview. Not until the last two interviews that I come across, I came across because people have complained a lot about how he was always coming for Alex. So they asked him, and he was like, I've already said that in my previous interview. I'm like, okay, now now on cool head, come correct. All right, coming from Olive. Now, Pere and his patriots, they give some of this housemates relevance post show. You all need to be grateful to us, Sha, with a trifle now. Hmm. Guys, you think so? Pere and his patriots, they are the one giving us post show drama. Anyways, any, if you say so, who am I to say no? But all I know is all the housemates are giving us something to talk about, for now at least. Okay, and then KV actually revealed that he was the photographer that took Ile Baye's pictures. As he said, this would pass as one of my favorite work, you know. And then they were, they've been hailing him since then because they said the photographer that took the picture, there was not too much editing that you could still feel that this person is Ile Baye and all of that. So, because they've been hyping him before he revealed himself. You understand? After Ile Baye posted that picture, when people were asking of her, and they've been asking who the photographer was and he revealed himself. Talking about Ile Baye, it may seem as though there is a sudden, you know, meet and greet, but in a kind, in a different way. This one, her money making, you know, she actually revealed yesterday night that, hey guys, I have been feeling your love and support and I am absolutely grateful for it. I wish I could meet you all at the same time, but there is exciting news. Bounce Network has come to the rescue. We are planning a meetup tomorrow, that is today. I am itching to celebrate my win with all of you amazing people. Here is what to do. Drop a comment on why you want to join me for this event. I will be selecting my top 10 comments, 5 from Instagram and 5 from Twitter. After that, you will be sent a special invite to your DM for this event. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. That is today. Yeah. So if you know you want to see Baye, participate. You know, that is if it's, I don't think it's late actually. So participate. Because currently they are on this, um, they are on a meeting. They went for money points, whatever. They have a gathering there. The housemates, ex housemates, they are all there, including Ile Baye. I saw her there. I was on the live. I just left. Okay. So I saw her there. So for now, she's still busy. So if you're a Baye tribe and you want to participate and you want to meet Ile Baye, you guys have been complaining on how you miss her, how you want to see her. So you can do the needful right now before you go say, had I know. And Bounce actually reposted and said, yes, your chance to hang out with Ile Baye is here. Just click the link to join the phone. When Ile Baye told you guys, there's this interview I posted that she said she is busy making money also, not just the media rounds. It may seem as though this is one of it because if you see this her appearance on this um, Bounce Network, not before free, oh, baby girl go collect money. She go collect the moolah. Okay, still talking about Baye. CC has been trending currently. Why? Because of the same interview um, they had with Miss Vic and Toke Mankewa. CC, um, okay, Toke Mankewa asked. It may seem as though Toke Mankewa take Ile Baye matter personal. It may seem as though Toke Mankewa like Baye. Because the way she asked Pere, now she asked CC. Though it's, they needed to ask that question. But I think she liked Baye even before the show ended, you know. So, she asked um, CC and said, CC, there is this um bling narrative going on about Baye, you know, like she has been victimized and all of that. Do you think how do you feel about that? How did you guys, you know, make that happen? Why did do you think you guys believed her in the house? Sissy was like, oh, that she came out of the, out of the house and was so shocked, you know, to see that narrative flying up because there is nothing like that. That was what Sissy said in her voice. Because of the Spartans who would come and now come and meet me. She did not say so. She did not say so. Hope you have watched the video because that was what you people did the other time. I said what Mercy said in her interview. When I come, they come for me. Me, I don't get time for all these things. I'm not a one-sided person. Okay, so then Sissy said that she was so surprised coming out to see all of this happen. That people are saying bullying for where that way is it if if she's been bullied that would they be doing her makeup? That this is somebody we do her makeup, that way she vomits, we clean it, you know. She started saying some things that they were doing for Ile Baye in the house, you know. And then Mercy was like reoccurring, that all these things were reoccurring, you no, know, not even once, not even twice, that they are showing others, you know, love and kindness to Ile Baye. But they are so surprised that the camera did not carry all of that. So the way the housemates are saying this thing, they are making it look like um, it is um, the multi-choice team that wants to carry out the pity me narrative. You get what I'm trying to say? Because the way Mercy said, we are calling, no, you understand, and they were not showing it. Most most of Mercy's interview, she has lamented on how they were not showing some of the things they would have showed. She had even complained about how she bonded with Baye, and they still did not show it. That she's so it's so surprising to see to make them make them look like 
they are actually you know bullying her or something so guys let's settle this matter once and for all because there's argument right now on the social space do you think multi-choice and its production we just want to carry the pity me narrative or do you think the housemate really did that to me if the housemate did not make a move about that such pity narrative no go come up i don't know if you guys get me meanwhile let's see what the social space is talking about coming from nkalai we saw everything whether you cleaned and make up what but you did I skipped that other word. CC, you can only lie to yourself but not me because I watched the show and your attitude towards Baye was full of hate and bullying. Mm, CC, you really bullied Baye. Once they are outside, they pretend they didn't say some certain things. No surprise she did. She denied it though. And then coming from Bettila, that was the narrative, the production. The production team wanted to be sold out and it worked out. Relax King CC. Not everyone is gullible. Some of us know the truth. Reunion will solve this problem with clips. Exactly. You can say whatever you want to say, but the fact remains that we saw everything you guys did to her. <clears throat> of course, you never admit to anything, CC. You can't even apologize when you're wrong. Mm. Anyways, uh, my own is you see the, this person that said reunion will solve this uh with clips, yeah. I accept that part because last last all I know is they made that happen. Hence the girl acted the way she acted. Though Ile Baye has always said she did not win via pity. She's if you go to her interview, she's always rejecting that fact that people are saying uh, they said it's a pity narrative thing that make her win. But she said no. Or it did her head. God has decided that she would win. I wasn't expecting her to admit to it to this. Who in his right mind will admit to ennobling or not that when they know brands are watching? So true. But you used to say, I am not Baye that you can bully. Stop lying, Sissy. Yes, she was the one. I am not Ile Baye. You won't bully me. And it's true. Who said I am not Baye? But you can't. You see, people are lamenting on what she repeats to people that if she's having issues on press, she'll be like, see, oh me, I'm not Ile Baye. Oh, where you go feel bully? And it's true. She did say that. And now they are, she's asked outside of the house and she said, how? I don't know how people see that. And the thing is, that, you know, when you sit back because you're not in that house with this housemate when you sit back realize that oh now now make follow make this push this thing or make this thing happen you will not be glad to say it now that's what the production wanted people to see and so many Baye fans who watch from comment section will bring up their own story too nothing like bully ask her ask her Baye herself she won't say they bully that now production team just say the show the, okay just shows the show half half something will start they won't show now when matter don't spoil then go show her biggie well done this alamo bitter can lie <laughs> Chai, she even said she can never be friend with either by outside the house the bully was obvious but you know what man no be god like guys i told you guys right i said what do you think you think is um production that actually make this um pity me narrative sell or you think the housemate did something that's made it you know sell or you think it is Ile Baye's game plan because Ile Baye they asked her in her interviews that how far baby girl what is your strategy she was like those things people see as a strategy to her not be she now she she just you know reaction to whatever was happening in that's not like she was she had that in mind to add that way no Miss Petit said, I just remembered Mercy A.K. saying on Space yesterday that Ile Baye was one of the people she bonded very well with on the show and that she was surprised it wasn't shown that much. Me, multi-choice you will crumble. So guys, I don't know. The camera cannot show everything at the same time, but I do not. I cannot blame the production and its team. And me, I feel for a fact you cannot take it away that this house is actually really, they came for Ile Baye. They underestimated her and then now she is the winner guys i'll be dropping my voice right here and now tell me what you feel in the comment section thank you so much for sailing with me bye for now